Hello, my beautiful Aquarius dragons. Welcome to your soul journey reading for right now. Wow, we already have cards coming out for you guys. So this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and for North Node. So I'm trying to pull out the energies of what you've been going through on a much deeper level. So it could be surface level things that you're going through, or it could just be a lot of deepness. So let's see what's going on for Aquarius, please. Let's see. Let's see, two more cards, please. Guys, please do like and subscribe to my channel. It is free, and I do appreciate the support for my channel. I'm just tiny right now, but I'd like to grow. Right? I'd like to get my message out. And also, please leave comments. I love hearing from you. Um, even if it's just a hello. If you want to talk to me and not have it go public, just let me know in the comments. Or else you can also send me an email. Okay? All in the description. Oh. Just a second. Wow, that last card. Okay, I'm going to leave it until I get this. So, guys, the first thing that came out. Okay, so we have, wow, guys. Aquarius, we have sadness, selling out, and pride. I don't get the feeling like you're very prideful. I feel like, like, I just feel that some sort of part of you feels pride pretty destroyed. Um, but I don't know. Here's what's coming to me. I don't know if I saw you on the street, if I'd actually be able to see that in you, right? Like, I feel like you're really, and that's what I'm pulling from this pride is that if you see the picture of it, she looks great, but inside she's just like this walking skeleton. I, I don't think it's pride. I think that you're putting on a good show, but I think really deep down inside, you're very sad. And you feel like you've been selling out. Like you're not, I feel like you're not, you feel like you're not honoring your purpose. Right? I, I don't, I don't quite get it. Or maybe you don't know what it is. Right? Procrastination. Now procrastination came out over here. So I don't know if this has sort of been a long time coming if you sort of, it's really hard to step into the space of moving on. Because here's the thing is, once you dive deep and you figure things out deep on a soul level, there's no going back. Trust me, sometimes I say to my friends, um, I'm like, I wish I could go back and just be oblivious again. Right? It's like being intuitive and honing into intuitive skills it's a blessing, but it also isn't because you see how many people around you aren't. And it's not a slight, it's just that you wish that you could live that simpler life. Okay, so I get it, right? It's, it's hard to move on from this space, but I feel like you can't, you're in a time right now where you can't live on unauthentically, inauthentically anymore you need to go and you need to uh, really be who you're meant to be. Uh, and that's what the sadness is, is because you know that you're not. You know that you're not living to your true self. You know that you're not living to your fullest potential. And it's not expectations. It's just that like I said, it, it's it's almost like you're not listening. <laughs> I'm hearing this, okay? This is why this is coming out. This is what they're saying. Y you're not listening. <laughs> and that's why a certain aspect of your life has been so hard. But nobody would know. Maybe, maybe a few people that might be close to you, you might have like mentioned a few things, but this is like a deep, this is like a deep, Super deep gut thing. And that's why this sadness exists. You're selling yourself out. Aww. Aquarius, all I have to say is with this energy, I love you. And I think that you need to love yourself more. 
it's okay. So even though I said, I know I said that it's hard, but you know what? I, I actually really wouldn't go back and trade it for the world because um, I, I love having my gifts and I love sharing them with you. Um, it's, it's a wonderful thing to have. It is challenging, right? This is why I love hearing back from you and getting, you know, even if you give me a like, give me a comment, right? Subscribe, right? Because it's just, it's sort of that, it, it's that give take and it's like, it's not, you know, and I'm not complaining or whatever, but it's just to make the choice to do these things, like for any tarot readers, right? For anybody who does anything that's not in the norm, right? We all take um, challenges and we take a lot of heat, right? Because it can't be proven. It can't be proven. What we do is not proven. And that's why it's like, if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate with you. Like, don't make it your story. So what we have here in the past is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So I hear that you're blocking your own happiness. Um, there may be other things around you that might also be stopping it, but I feel like there is a misalignment. There might be something to do with like a broken home, maybe when you were young and you're still hanging on to that sadness. But I'm hearing that there is, um, that you are blocking your own happiness, right? So you have the hangman in reverse. Now your hangman in reverse is that you can't see it, right? So the hangman isn't struggling and I feel like you just keep struggling, okay? Your seven of wands is in reverse. It's like you're confused and you may need to step back and um, and make make the decision to go because you're not making the decision to go and the magician is in reverse. So I feel like you don't have faith. I, I just really feel that you don't trust yourself, guys, right? Look, you have the page of cups in reverse. Oh my God. So this is about, again, um, your new beginning, I think that you might have tried, but you didn't believe it. So it didn't happen. So you're like, well, I'm just going to go back here. If you don't believe it, it's not going to work. Right? The law of attraction. Okay? Go do some major reading on the law of attraction. Go find Abraham Hicks, um, channeled by Esther Hicks. But it's like, go find something. Okay? Just something. I don't care what it is. Go find something to help you. And you'll grow and you'll move. Um, I actually have this amazing book. Um, what is it called? Light is the new, light is the new black or transformations of light. Oh. And it's a fantastic workbook for working through with your soul. Okay. Now we have the page of swords in reverse. Yeah. Again, it's just like more chaos and confusion, right? And this is about like a big mental block and your stars in reverse guys. Like, are you kidding me? So this, you're feeling hopeless and this might also be about you not taking care of things or you're trying to force things in a way that they aren't supposed to be going and you're letting fear and anxiety control you. This is a time to repair. You really need to take care of yourself. Guys, this is not, if you are watching this and you because I, I get the feeling like you really, for whoever this is pertaining to, you really need to make sure that you need help. Okay, and I get it. Okay, counselors, if you have a counselor, you see them maybe once a week. You need to also take steps to move through with yourself as well. You know what, just give me a second. I'm going to go find that book that I'm talking about. Oh, here we go. I got it right here, guys. So, it's Light is the New Black. This is it. Okay, I'm going to show you the book. Okay. This is a great way to break through and you can look into it. Okay. It's a guide to answering your soul's calls and working your light. I have a feeling this actually might help you. It's actually a workbook and it's pretty, it's pretty easy read, but you know what? You go back and you'll do things over and over and over. And I don't know if you've seen, but I've actually highlighted stuff in it. So, okay. This is what I feel that you guys need to hear. And, um, it's a fantastic book to work through because you also need to, you can't just expect a counselor to do all the work for you. They can only guide you. Anybody in your life can only guide you, but you need to make the steps to take those forward steps. Okay, guys, um, I'll see you in your next reading and keep, you, you can do it. I just get so much sadness and so much down here. 
You guys need to take that step. Trust me, taking that one step is going to change all of this. Okay? So just write out some sort of affirmation. Write out goals in a positive way. Where do you want to be and see yourself? And don't say I want, say I am. Okay? And see yourself there right now. Okay? You need to start bringing positiveness in. Okay, Aquarius? Thank you. And I will see you in your next reading.